What is up people? I hope you're doing very well. This is a course announcement. I am launching a course on geopolitics. It's called Geopolitics from First Principles. So this is the course that many of you have been asking me to, to do for a very long time. So it's here finally. It's launching tomorrow on the 1st of February. And it's gonna give you, this course will give you my geopolitical analytic framework, how I look at geopolitics from the perspective of hard facts and data and power and the, way, and the, and the major principles that drive geopolitics. So let's quickly take a look at what the course looks like, what its structure is like, what its uh, component uh, modules are like. So first of all, I'm going to answer the question of what is geopolitics. Then I'm going to talk about the international order, the rules-based world order that we live in that currently governs the world that, uh, that we live in. Then I'm going to talk about the concept of the state or the nation state, which is central to geopolitics. Then I'm going to talk about types of state and forms of government. Then I'll discuss the Westphalian system, which is the system that governs the current world order. I'm going to go into the history of the Westphalian system and I'm going to talk about the six basic uh, pillars or principles or concepts that uh, are part of the Westphalian system. And I'm going to talk about uh, their shortcomings and drawbacks as well. Then I'll cover the defining characteristics of nation states. Then the concepts, important concepts of power and energy. Are these... Uh, mystical concepts or can they be defined and what is their relevance in geopolitics. Then I will discuss the role of ethics and morality in geopolitics. Then comes the actual core subject matter of the course, the actual meat and bones of the course, which are the building blocks of geopolitical power. There are eight quantities, eight numbers that build the geopolitical power, that contribute to the geopolitical power of us, of any nation. So I'm going to talk about the building blocks of geopolitical power. I'm going to speak about comprehensive national power. I'm going to show you how to calculate every single nation's individual comprehensive national power as a function of the building blocks of geo geopolitical power. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you the calculations. I'm going to calculate the CNP, comprehensive national power, for a bunch of nations. And then we're going to compare and contrast the uh, case studies. You know, take one nation against another and see exactly where they stand vis-a-vis -vis each other, how much more powerful is one nation, how and where exactly are each nation's strengths and weaknesses. We will see them clearly laid out and numerically defined. So there's no ambiguity. So it's all about power, comprehensive national power. I'm going to introduce these concepts and I'll show, show exactly how this is calculated. You will need a bit of basic arithmetic, uh, you know, knowledge of basic arithmetic, addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, a bit of fractions, a little bit of that. But yeah, nothing beyond uh, most of us. So it's all about actually quantifying the power of a nation. Okay, And then I'm going to talk about balance of power very fundamental uh, principles that, that govern how power affects international relations. Then I'm going to talk about the national interest. I'm going to define what the national interest is and, and how it drives nations. Then I'm going to talk about geopolitical conflict, what drives conflict, what causes conflict, what are the different kinds of conflict, uh, which nations are likely to prevail and which nations are likely to lose in a conflict, how conflict is managed, how conflict is resolved, what constitutes actual victory in a conflict and what does not constitute victory in a conflict. Then I'm going to discuss geopolitical cooperation, why nations cooperate, what are the real need needs for cooperation, what's the purpose of cooperation, what are the, what are the different types of cooperation. Then I'm going to talk about international organizations, uh, which also are a form of cooperation, but which also cause certain certain issues when it comes to a nation's uh, self-governance and sovereignty. Then I'm going to discuss military alliances and give you a whole bunch of case studies of military alliances. And I'm going to discuss uh, the, the specifics of those alliances. I'm going to talk about diplomacy, the characteristics of rising and declining powers. And I'm going to talk about why powers rise, thrive, decline and fall. So it is not a very long course. It's slightly more than 
three, four hours. I've, I haven't calculated exactly how long it is yet. It's not a very long course. You could do it in a sitting or two, or, as, or you can take as long as you like. But it's a reasonably rapid course. It's a very, uh, a very specific course. There is no waffling. There is no long, you know, explanations and all that. And you can actually be empowered to to calculate, to explicitly calculate the actual power that every nation has. You know, so you can you can compare India versus China if you like. You can compare China versus the U.S. and see where each nation ex uh, actually stands vis-a-vis -vis, vis -vis each other. I mean, you know what they say? They say that uh, China is a rising superpower. Well, you calculate the relative powers of each nation and then you check it out exactly where which one stands, right? Uh, what is the standing of Russia in the International Committee of Nations? And what is it that contributes to Russia's power? power? And what is it that contributes to... What are the weaknesses of Russia? And the same for the US and other nations. So it's going to open up a whole new world for you, this course. It's going to enable and empower you to look at the world kind of the way I look at it, from an analytical perspective, from a hard power perspective. And I'm also going to talk about the relevance and, and uh, role of other forms of power, like soft power and smart power and sharp power. So all of that in one course. Uh, it's only for serious learners. It's also going to come with uh, a large bank of questions which you can answer for yourselves. Some of those will be actually out of the syllabus to encourage you to do your own research and go beyond the course because the, the role of a teacher is not just to give you knowledge and give you data but also to point you in certain directions, the right directions. So that is there as well. And uh, on completing the course, you will get a certificate. And I will also do a number of live sessions. The first live session will be on the 1st of February, in which I will give an overview of the course and go into certain details as well. So it's only for serious learners. Uh, so please go ahead and sign up for it if you are interested. The link is in the description. And I will hopefully see you there. And if not, if you don't want to purchase, no issues. I'll see you in the next video, which will anyway come up soon enough. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.